Okay, I'm going to demonstrate plate tectonics using this mandarin. I've already peeled it. The peel is there. I've got some toothpicks to help me out to hold bits together. And I've got this prepared earlier. It's um, just water and flour, almost like um, Play-Doh. And so I'm going to use that as a layer as well to demonstrate um, earth and the movement of the plates and the earth's crust. Now these are all household items I just found around. Okay, so we've got earth. But we first, in the middle, we've got Earth's core, which is made out of, well, two parts. It's solid iron and nickel. So that actually goes in the middle. So now our Earth jiggles. Um, <laughs> around the Earth, yeah, so we've got the, the core in the middle. And around the core, we've actually got a liquid form, which is of metal and iron, and that's what actually creates Earth's magnetic field. Um, from it moving around and circling around core, we've got that magnetic field going on. So, the next layer above the core, the liquid around the core, we've got the lower mantle. So, the lower mantle makes up of most of um, Earth. So that's your lower mantle. The next layer is your upper mantle. So our upper mantle just goes on like so. So that's a more softer layer that we've got. It's not going to make it. It's okay, that's all we need. Um, so this, obviously, as you can see, moves. It's a lot softer. This is your upper mantle. So what goes on top of the upper mantle is your crust, your mandarin peel. So we'll just put it together like a, exactly like a jigsaw. So put that on, put that on. So that's why I've got my toothpicks to help me out. So, Earth's crust is only 70 kilometers thick, which isn't that much in comparison that from Earth's crust to the core is about 6,000 kilometers long. So, we don't have... Okay, I think that'll do for now. Not very good at this jigsaw thing, am I? Okay, so there you go, you've got your earth. So we've got our different layers. We've got the crust, the upper mantle, this softer, gooier part, which allows our plates to move around so they can slide and move around. So we've got, what we've got is three different types of plate boundaries. We've got um, the convergent plate boundaries. That's where they move together. So I'll take these out to help show. So with these, we've got these two plates and they move together. As they move together, they form rock in between, so new rock. And then if they push it, if they slide underneath, like so, this here is what we call a volcano. So it's all this heat erupting from the the lower levels as it gets hotter inside Earth. And then, yeah, if they crunch together, we've got our, well, or we've got a mountain. Or if it's where our hot spot is, we're going to lose some magna out the top. So, yeah. Uh, another type of movement is, uh, what do we got? Divergent plate boundaries. So they, when the plates are moving apart so they're moving away from each other so they're slowly sliding away and that's when new rock comes out and it comes out the top 
Uh, this takes millions of years. We're not moving around very fast. Um, yeah, magma goes actually in between these and causes new rock. Um, a good example of this is Australia. We're moving up towards Indonesia. So keep your planned holiday because that's going to take millions of years. Um, another plate boundary we've got is transform plate boundaries. They, um, they're moving past each other. So they're doing this. Um, so just we'll go over here. Should have made a gooey and upper mantle. Um, they actually slide together and they're doing this. So they're moving past each other and they're sliding around and moving. And what happens is all this energy, because these are big heavy plates, all this energy is pushing very slowly and every now and then they'll slip. They'll just go uh, and they'll slip. And what we call that is earthquakes. So somewhere like, uh, what do we got? We got Australia over here. Say New Zealand's here. They're actually right on that line of a plate tectonic boundary and that's actually moving because we're moving up. They slide and that's what causes our earthquakes. So yeah, we don't get many in Australia because we're right in the middle. So we're just still moving around. So that's plate tectonics using a mandarin and some flour and water and a cat's bell. So yeah, you can always go back into the layers and take off your crust. You've got your gooey mantle, it oozes out and slips around and yeah, and then underneath that you've got your your there you go, your upper mantle. And then you've got your lower mantle, so crust, upper mantle, lower mantle, and in here, our cat's bell is Earth's core, so directly in the middle. So there you go, that's plate tectonics and the layers of earth in one. <laughs> okay, thank you.